In the heart of the dense rainforests of western Colombia, a tiny creature commands attention with its dazzling colors, the Philobates terribilis, better known as the golden poison dart frog. Join us on a fascinating journey into the world of this charismatic amphibian, as we uncover its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. Few creatures on Earth match the lethal toxicity of Colombia's infamous golden poison frog, an amphibian so deadly even glimpsing one risks potential harm. Yet beyond the ominous warnings its brilliant coloration broadcasts lies an intriguing story of complex chemistry, evolutionary innovation, and intricate ecological balance that regulates populations amid delicate rainforest environments. As tiny terrestrial frogs in the family Dendrobatidae, golden poison frogs sequester an arsenal of alkaloid toxins from dietary sources as a chemical defense strategy, deterring predation but requiring strict habitat parameters to thrive. Classified as endangered by the IUCN, habitat loss now jeopardizes these captivating frogs that long inspired indigenous cultures and medicinal discoveries across their cloud forest realm in the rainforests of Colombia's Pacific coast. Evolutionary History all poison frogs trace shared ancestry back 65 million years to early Neobatrachian frogs that likely relied on cryptic camouflage for protection initially. But as evolutionary lineages diversified then specialized across shifting tropical ecosystems, one clade innovated biochemically by utilizing toxins sequestered from consumed arthropods toward self-defense. This key adaptation proved successful, as descendants spread exploiting ecological niches other frogs could not inhabit safely. The origins of dendrobatid frogs traces back roughly 30 million years into the Oligocene epoch across Proto-Amazonia and the Miocene Caribbean. Taxonomic deductions suggest golden poison frogs speciated from the closely related variable harlequin frogs at least 5 million years ago. Isolated founder populations that colonized Colombia's rainforests likely lost initial aposematic patterning as lack of predators selected for toxicity instead of disguise or avoidance behaviors. Over successive generations, innate recognition of poisonous food sources plus physiological mechanisms allowing toxin assimilation without self-poisoning enabled spectacular aposematism advertising their undisputed danger. When early hunter-gatherers first penetrated dense jungle slopes along Colombia's Pacific coast, vibrant darting frogs certainly captured indigenous interest, likely leaving observations and myths around such a peculiar lethal creature. Traditional use of blow darts and arrows likely drew connections between their golden skins and deadly properties. Yet only recently has modern science revealed the precise origin of these frogs' extraordinarily lethal defenses. Adult golden poison frogs average less than half an inch snout to vent, 15 mm, making them challenging to spot within leaf litter habitats. Intricate dendritic skin patterning in black, yellow and bright orange overlays the frog's slim body and hind legs. A dark medial line borders the orange dorsum. Large protruding eyes with horizontal pupils sit behind black cheek marks surrounded by yellow then black bands encircling the blotchy orange head. Webbed forefeet and hind legs assist mobility within humid forests. Mature males are slightly smaller yet more brilliantly colored to attract selective females. Their average weight is a mere half gram, similar to a paperclip yet containing enough batrachotoxins to kill 20,000 mice. No deadlier creature exists relative to body size. Wild frogs rapidly lose toxicity when removed from native ants and beetles containing poisons, implying an alkaloid sequestering process from such arthropod prey. In captivity without these food sources, toxic levels disappear quickly as well. These tiny terrestrial frogs breathe through smooth moist skin. Hind limbs adapted for short hops limit dispersal across forest floors with home ranges around 3 square meters for an individual. Sensitive adhesive toe pads provide traction upon leaves and rocks. Eyes with yellow irises likely assist detecting motion and color signals important within social dynamics. Their upward-oriented eyes may also facilitate scanning sightlines for hawks and other threats during daylight foraging. Keen senses adapted for locating food, breeding opportunities and hazards within dim rainforest floors assisted golden poison frog evolution from shy ancestral frogs into active toxin-wielding predators displaying vibrant aposematic signals declaring their undisputed dominance. Ecology Golden poison frog habitat occurs exclusively within humid rainforest valleys along Colombia's Pacific Coast Reserved Zone, a biodiversity hotspot, protected from exploitation after military operations ceased. Endemic to scattered locations across four Valle de Cauca departments, total evolutionary range surrounds less than 15,000 square kilometers, with many subpopulations now endangered by ongoing encroachment despite protected status. 
Terrestrial frogs within family Dendrobatidae occupy forest floor niches throughout much of Central and South America rainforests, but golden poison varieties thrive in warmer, wetter and more biodiverse lowland rainforests along southwestern slopes of the Andean Pacific drainage valleys. Rainfall here frequently exceeds 8,000 mm supporting lush vegetation. These tropical wet forests create suitable microconditions for golden poison frogs with constant warmth, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, humidity exceeding 80% and diffuse sunlight filtering through multi-layered canopies. Golden poison frogs share ecological niches with non-toxic rainforest frogs that rely on camouflage to hide from predators. Yet for philobates frogs, conspicuous coloration replaced crypsis over evolution as toxins accumulated providing near-complete defense from predators, even protecting frog eggs and tadpoles from insects and snakes that easily consume innocuous species. This allows dendrobatids access to safer daylight foraging when competitors remain undercover. Habitat and Behavior the intricate life cycle of golden poison frogs connects integrally with specific environments required for utilization of alkaloid dietary sources, territorial social dynamics, breeding, tadpole development and other behaviors essential for ongoing success. As habitat parameters shift with seasonal rains influencing plant communities, frogs must adapt accordingly across habitat zones to optimize chances completing their complex life history strategy. Adult frogs concentrate activity across forest floors, dividing much time resting under leaves, scanning for food and observing territorial neighbors constantly. Highly territorial, each frog claims personal zones centered around favored plant stems, rocks and small pools traversed routinely during wet months when excessively hot or dry conditions funnel groups together temporarily. Visual displays and aggressive wrestling contests mediated by toxins determine local hierarchies and breeding privileges. The essential prey providing golden poison frog potency are ants, mites and tiny beetles within forest leaf litter that accumulate plant-derived alkaloids into their tissues as they feed. Frogs in turn consume specific arthropods to assimilate toxins protecting themselves from most predators besides a few snake species that evolved resistance. Loss of alkaloid-containing prey could prove detrimental if alternative chemical defense strategies take longer to evolve. Following rainy seasons from March to June, males attract selectively searching females through courtship calls. Once pairing up, the female follows the male several days, prompted to fertilize eggs he keeps moist until deposited under leaf litter. After roughly two weeks, the female returns to lay additional unfertilized nutrient eggs sustaining tadpoles once they metamorphose from earlier fertilized eggs. The male golden poison frog transports emerging tadpoles upon his back towards canopy moisture and eventually tiny pools held in tank bromeliads where larvae develop swimming and breathing while consuming insect eggs and detritus. Ideally with fewer larval competitors plus tannins limiting bacterial fouling, these arboreal pools furnish suitable microhabitat through metamorphosis into juvenile miniatures of the adult form before descending towards ancestral forest floor niches, thereby continuing the remarkable life cycle. Conclusion. Behind the ominous warnings of deadly golden poison frogs lies an ancient story of how evolutionary innovations enabled colonizing rainforests that closely related amphibians could not inhabit safely without potent chemical defenses. Yet the delicate balance maintaining ecological richness within Colombian biodiversity hotspots now destabilizes from human encroachment and callous disregard towards habitat preservation assumed to be unlimited. While wild populations no longer face overwhelming harvest pressure after curtailed traditional human usage plus legal habitat protections enacted recently, the greatest current threat remains rainforest destruction and hydrological diversion diminishing ecosystem integrity that ultimately sustains endemic frog and faunal populations long-term via intricate food webs flowing down from the treetops. With over 170 frog species already endangered, the outlook remains uncertain for sensitive barometers of environmental health like Colombia's golden poison frogs unless more ambitious conservation ensures the viability of essential delicate ecosystems that cannot be replaced once eliminated by unbridled development. If preserved properly along with indigenous culture, future generations may still witness brilliant flashes of gold darting through the darkness, reminding us of nature's masterful creative powers on display since long ago.